Hello everyone and welcome to Power Pages Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduk and this is tip number 212. Standalone JS file using web template. When it comes to adding JavaScript to Power Pages, there are a lot of options for where to put it. In this tip, we'll talk about using web templates to create a standalone JavaScript file. This tip comes courtesy of George Dubinsky, my co-host on the Refresh the Cache podcast. If you have a large chunk of JavaScript that you want to reuse on your Power Pages site, there are quite a few options. You can upload it as a web file. You can throw it in a web template and use a liquid include statement to add it where you need it. But each of those options have pros and cons. Web files are hard to manage because they are stored as notes in Dataverse. Including web templates via Liquid usually means the JavaScript is included in the page itself, and you can't leverage caching. However, there is another option that addresses these points. The technique is pretty simple. Create a web template that contains all of your JavaScript. Don't wrap it in a script tag. Then create a page template that uses that web template, and uncheck the Use Website Header and Footer checkbox. Then, create a page that uses that page template. Since you unchecked the Use Website Header and Footer checkbox, the web template is solely responsible for what is returned by the server, which is just your JavaScript. You can then use a script tag to include that JavaScript wherever you need it. Of course, nothing is perfect. In this solution, you've got the additional overhead of creating another web page and page template. Plus, you still have to figure out how to get the script tag on the page. So, it may not be worth the hassle, but it is another option to consider when you have common JavaScript that you want to reuse throughout your Power Pages site. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Power Pages tip number 212 on standalone JS file using web template useful.